Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set the resolution on your Roku streaming stick service on your TV. Um, now this stick I have here is a 4K stick, uh, so it works on, provides resolutions up to 4K. Obviously your TV has to support 4K, um, so, um, and it does automatically detect the resolution, but say you want to change it, um, this is what, how you do it. So starting from the home page, we go down to settings, and then we go down here to display type. And as you can see right now, it automatically set the resolution to 1080p because this is um, an HD TV. It doesn't go up to 4K, it's just, it's just a 1080p TV. But say you wanted to, I did have a 4K TV and it was I wanted to change it to 4K. Here's where you can set the different uh, resolutions. So 4K HDR at 60 frames per second, 4K HDR at 30 frames per second, um, here we have 60, uh, 4K at 60 frames per second, 4K at 30 frames per second, here's your 1080p, and here's your 720p uh, that you can actually set it to, right? So this is where you would actually go ahead and set that. Now, if your TV, my TV doesn't support that resolution, as you can see on the right-hand side, you do have a note saying that your TV doesn't support that resolution. So don't worry uh, uh, if you set the wrong setting by mistake, you won't damage your TV. And, and, and it even says you can Try it out anyway, so I'm going to just select this and it may go black for a few seconds because it doesn't support 4K, but no worries. Let's see what happens after a couple of seconds. See, so it looks like that setting didn't work. This, the display will use the previous setting for display type, which was the 1080p, and you can try again. So I'm just going to go, go back here, click OK, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that simple video on how to change the display uh, settings type, or I should say the resolution on your TV using your Roku streaming stick. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that last video. If you liked it, go ahead and like it. Thank you very much ahead in advance. And if you haven't done so already, you should subscribe to this channel. Two reasons for doing that. One, you will get access to our weekly content that's coming out when it comes to do with TVs, TV accessories, home entertainment systems, Pretty much anything to do with televisions will be coming out. And the second reason is you will automatically be eligible for our future prize giveaways. Now, speaking of prize giveaways, in addition to subscribing to this channel, <clears throat> you will also need to subscribe to our newsletter. Now, to get access to doing that, just click on the link below to our website at www.redtechbot.com and just subscribe to our newsletter there. And once you've done that, you're automatically in, uh, you're at automatically eligible. Uh, for prize giveaways. So, newsletter, subscription, and subscribe to the channel. That's it. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, other than that, if there are any TV models, TV accessories, home entertainment systems, anything to do with TVs that you would like me to review, just leave them in the comments below, and I will add that to my backlog and see what I can do for you. Now, I can't promise you or guarantee I'll get those uh, product reviews done, but I will definitely see what I can do uh, in the near future. No promises, but at least let me know and I'll see what I can do. Other than that, guys, happy TV viewing and just stay, stay safe out there. Okay, so till next time, bye-bye.